This town's so lame. I'm feeling so What is up everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited about today's video. If you are watching this like the day it came out live and you're a typical subscriber to my channel, I'm so sorry that this video is so late. Just been really busy with the holidays. And then of course I woke up with a migraine, but here it is, we're getting it done. I don't know what I'm doing with my arms. Anyways, if you are new here, hello, my name is Katie. I make all like home decor videos, anything to do with Target, home goods, cleaning motivation. Really, really, really soon to be packed with me. I love to do haul videos like this. So if you love videos like that, definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. I don't know which side it's on, but it's on one of these sides. Okay, today's video is a collective Target Target haul. I have been shopping a lot at Target over the last like week specifically. They do crazy, crazy clearance after the holidays. They do Christmas clearance and then they also do clearance on their like home decor, so on the Hearth and Hand line and Studio McGee. So I have been going all over Central Florida scouting out these items. I got a lot of stuff. Some of it I got at 50% off, some of it I got at 70% off, and some of it I got for 90% off. So I'm really excited to show you everything I bought. If you follow me on Instagram at Katie Vining, you might have seen some of this stuff already, but I just wanted to put it all together in a big video for you. Actually, someone sent me a message and asked me to do a collective haul or suggested that I do it. So thank you so much. I think it's Nia G08 for recommending that I do this because it is such a good idea and I love sharing this stuff with you guys. So this is a great way to like put it all together in one video, show you everything that I really bought over the last like week or so. I'll tell you all the prices and everything. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, I'm gonna start with stuff that I only got well I did get some stuff for like 10% off They're doing a sale like 10% off on bedding So I'm gonna start with stuff that like I didn't really get on clearance and then work up to like the biggest craziest finds that I got over the last week or so so we're gonna start off with things that I just got like 10% off bedding sale. Okay, you will definitely notice the biggest trend in this haul is pillows. I bought a lot of pillows. Starting off with this first one, this is a threshold pillow. I will try to link what I can down below for you guys. Some of this stuff isn't on the website yet because it is new and it's not like up on the website, but I happen to find it in the store. But I will link everything I can for you down below. But I got this like long, like runner type pillow. It has like these little like light gray, grayish stripes on almost and it does have like tassels at the end it's really cute I'm pretty sure it was $30 and I got it for 10% off so I think I got it for like around $27 so not really like the best deal, but I just wanted to get a lot of pillows for our new bed. I want our new bed to look like really comfy and like lush with tons of pillows and like really like puffy blankets and all that sort of stuff. So I picked up that. Then I grabbed two extra firm down alternative king size pillows. Um, the comforter set that I bought came with two king size shams. We're not planning on using these pillows. They're really just for decoration. So I just got like the puffiest looking ones that they had, which were the extra firm down alternative. These were $14, but ended up bringing up at like $12.50, I think, with the 10% off, so pretty cool. Okay, next up is the bedding. This is the bedding that I decided to get. It's the Threshold Micro, oh, I don't know how to say that. It's like Matalasi Comforter Set, Extra Soft Cotton Blend, and it comes with two king size shams. It just feels really, really soft. I will definitely link this down below for you if you guys want to see it like more closely. But it has like the linen look that I was looking for, and it just looks like really plushy and comfortable. Um, it was, I think, originally $75, and I got it for like 70 I think it rang up at 71 and it was originally like $80. So that's pretty cool. It's king size. And it's white and we're gonna do like white with like light gray stripe accents on our main bed and then keep this bed exactly the way it is for our guest room when we move okay another thing I bought for full price I definitely showed this on my Instagram was this vase I'm obsessed with this circular vase I've been wanting a vase like this I actually walked around Target with it around my wrist like this once I found it and I just put this little like three dollar sprig from the dollar spot in here just something really really simple Brian was like well what do you put in there so I grabbed this as like an example and it actually looks pretty cute I absolutely love this vase so much there's not one single thing I would change about it and it was $20 it's uh, project 62 and I think this is already available online so I'll definitely have it linked down below but yeah it's just like a nice white ceramic vase and I just love that it's like a circle and it's just really simple but different and cute and I love it okay a couple more like full price things that I bought I bought these three bud vases from the dollar spot it was three for three dollars they do have hearth and hand ones or hearth and hand ones that are like 
$5.99 for one that's like even smaller than the smallest one that comes in here. I absolutely love these. I think I didn't realize that these come in two different shapes. So these are the ones that I got. I really like them and I think they do have blue hued ones as well that look really similar to the hearth and hand ones. But I honestly didn't even notice a difference when I was shopping and these are the ones I picked up. And I did pick up a bunch of little like stems to go inside of them. So I just got three tiny green little stems. They only had three of the green ones and then they had some pink ones, but I didn't want pink ones. So I grabbed three of these. These are honestly like kind of a rip off. It's $2 for each one. These are from Hearth and Hand, but I just really liked the look of them. And I'm just gonna put one in each little vase and it's gonna be a really like minimalistic, but still like bright and fresh little design element. And that's kind of what I'm going for in our new place. Clean, bright, and fresh. Okay, now we are moving into the 50% off clearance. So this is the stuff that I purchased the day after Christmas. So I went to Target on the 26th at 6 a.m and there was already a line like I think I was maybe like eighth in line which was absolutely crazy but I was really happy I was able to get everything that I was looking for everyone was like in the wonder shop and I could tell that they hadn't condensed everything at my store so I actually went over to like the hearth and hand studio McGee like regular home decor section and was able to find so much cute stuff as well as some hidden clearance items I bought them at 50% off which I'm kind of glad that I did because my area is just like really popular for Target shoppers and I think that if I would have waited for 70% off I wouldn't have been able to find this stuff so I'm really glad that I grabbed it when I did I went to a couple different Targets to find this stuff because I got like one of one pillow because the other one was stained so then I had to find another one at another store but yes lots more pillows coming your way okay so the first one is this hearth and hand pillow that has the tassels so um, I didn't do like the tassels to match it just so happens to match but it's just like white and gray color block it matches perfect with the other pillow and we um, are gonna do like light gray on our bed like I said so this is perfect I got two of these so they were originally $19.99 like I said I got them for 50% off so I paid $10 each. I know a lot of people are able to score them for $5.99, which is awesome. Kudos to you if you live in an area where targets are like not as swarmed with shoppers. So I picked up two of those at $10.99 each or like 10, maybe $9.99 each. Okay, and then I also picked up two of these. These also have little tassels on the sides and then it perfectly matches like the texture of the bedding that I got. It's like this knitted linen look. I got two of these white pillows. I love them. Originally, I wasn't sure if I was gonna use them on like the couch or the bed. I still don't know. I need to see like all the pillows and stuff I have like once we get into the apartment and everything is set up. But I really, really like these. Same thing, they were originally 20 and I picked them up for $9.99 each. But definitely jealous of everyone who got them at $5.99. But I still feel like $9.99 is a really good deal. Although I will say with these pillows, I broke my own rule. I got pillows that you can't take the covers off. I know, I never thought I would. I always tell people not to buy pillows that you can't take the covers off, so I'm surprised I broke my own rule, but I will say someone sent me a message on Instagram or I think commented on one of my YouTube videos and said that they just throw the whole pillow in the wash and they've never had a problem. So uh, I could report back about that in a few months and let you know if that's true, but I can't speak to that, I don't know. Normally I just buy ones where you can take the covers off, wash the covers, and put them back on the pillow, but hopefully I don't have any problems with this. With them being on our bed, it's definitely like a less traffic area because we take all the pillows off the bed when we go to sleep and then just put them back on, they're really just decoration. So I think that these should last and stay really nice for a long time. I of course can't find them now. I think I might have left the bag in the garage, but I also got four of these little like, ornaments but they're snowflakes they actually perfectly match my tree topper they're just like flocked looking snowflake ornaments and they're about like yay big and i got them for i think less than a dollar each i got them the day after christmas and they're really cute but i can't find them they're somewhere we're like in a weird mess of like packing and all this stuff so i couldn't find those but i bought four of those as well and then I also got two rolls of wrapping paper for next year. Brian was like, why? But I don't know, I wanted to pick these up. These were ones that I saw like when I was doing my shopping right before Christmas of things that like I might wanna pick up after Christmas given the opportunity. So I decided just to grab them. They did have wrapping paper like left at my store for a really long time. But I picked these up for, if they were $5, 50% off, so I got them for $2.50 each. Okay, now we are moving into the big guns. I got four items at 90% off. I went out to a couple targets this past weekend, and I follow a lot of Instagram accounts for the 90% off. This, These accounts tell me exactly what I need to look for. They share other people's stuff when they find something that maybe someone else didn't know was clearance. So if you want to find hidden clearance deals, these are the accounts you need to follow. Aubrey Swan blog, I will have all of them linked down below for sure as well, so if you wanna check them out. 
Another one that's Target Junkie. Target is everything. And then also the Freebie Guy, which I've talked about him before. Those are the four accounts that you need to follow if you want to see like a hidden Target clearance or amazing Target clearance or just clearance in general. They share all different stores. The two Target accounts mostly just share Target stuff, but the other two share like really awesome clearance deals all over. Aubrey Swamblog is amazing. She's also super nice. I've been lucky to be able to chat with her in the comments when I find awesome stuff. Same with the Freebie Guy. He's great. He's the reason that I won $500 from Kim Kardashian. If you guys saw that I mentioned that in a past video, I won a Christmas giveaway that she was doing and she sent me $500, so that was really great. But yes, I found four 90% off hidden clearance items. I'm really excited about all of them. One in particular is like a steal. But yeah, I got a lot of messages that were like, how do you find this stuff? Those four accounts, that's who you need to follow. Okay, so the first thing I got was this Opal House throw blanket. It's like a bright blue color. It was a dollar. $1 for this whole throw blanket it is 50 by 60 so like a typical throw blanket size a little bit small for like my preference but it was a dollar I wasn't gonna leave it at the store for somebody else to buy for a dollar I bought it for a dollar the next thing is also a blanket and I'm really excited about this one it's like a studio McGee like Sherpa on the outside and then like really really soft like I don't even know what material on the outside this didn't even have like the thing around it like the other one that like kept the blanket together it was literally just like sitting on a shelf all balled up and it has a tag on the inside so I just went right over to the price scanner scanned this barcode and it was four dollars so originally it was forty dollars and I got it for four so that's a freaking steal I love this blanket it's really soft it's super super nice quality like originally it was forty dollars that's a lot for a blanket but yeah I also got this one and I absolutely love it. Okay, the next thing I got, I literally risked my life and it is this log carrier. And I'm sure a lot of you are like, Katie, like what are you gonna do with a log carrier? Because I live in an apartment and also I live in Florida and I feel like people in Florida don't really have fireplaces. And if they do, they're not like wood burning ones, they're like electric. So I got this and it was super high up. It was maybe like 15 feet up in the air and I had to use this really tall decoration to get it down and a Target employee looked over as it was like falling on my head, but I caught it. I was so pumped. This was originally $50 and I got it for $5. It's really pretty, it's huge. We're actually gonna roll up blankets and keep blankets in it. I did buy another basket that we were gonna put blankets in, but we can find another use for that, like dog toys or whatever. Obviously this wouldn't be very good for dog toys because it doesn't have anything on the sides, but it's so pretty, I just couldn't leave it there. I couldn't believe it when I saw it up on the shelf and I just had to do anything I could to get it down so that I could buy it So yes, this was definitely an amazing find. I can't believe I got this originally $50 decoration for five Dollars. Another thing I want to say too is I always talk about the Target Circle app, but in this instance, you have to take stuff over to the price scanner. The Target Circle app is going to show you the online price, which is never going to be as cheap as the prices in the stores. So when I was doing this clearance hunting, I was no joke going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, finding something that might be clearance, bringing it over, finding something else that might, I thought might be on clearance, bringing it over to the price scanner. It's all trial and error. That's how you find the good deals. It definitely takes a lot of patience. I was in Target for way longer than I anticipated yesterday, but I found so many good things and I'm really glad that I had the patience to like find all this stuff. So that's what you have to do. You can't use your phone and like scan stuff in the aisles. You have to take it over to like one of the price scanners inside the store in order to find like the really good deals. Before I get to the big cojone, I forgot to mention that I got these sandals. I did size up, normally I'm a seven and a half or an eight, but all of Target sandals from last year ran really, really narrow for some reason. So I picked these up in a nine. They're just these like, I'm guessing pleather, like white sandals. I just thought they'd be really easy to like throw and go. I don't have a ton of sandals. I feel like I buy like two pairs of sandals every year and I literally wear them into the ground and then I buy two more. So I actually have another pair of sandals that's gonna come um, in the mail that I love from two years ago. I found them never worn on Poshmark for super cheap. So I just buy a couple pairs of sandals every year and wear them into the ground because I live in Florida so I wear sandals every single day of the year. So yeah, I got these for $10. Definitely check your Target. All the shoes at my Target were on sale, like all of the boots, all of the sandals, every single shoe in the whole store pretty much was on clearance for at least 50% off. So go ahead and check yours out. And with these, I would recommend probably sizing up if you don't have a really narrow foot. Okay, in order to show you the last thing, I'm gonna have to pan the camera over. I'm really excited about this item. I'll pan it over and like tell you about it, but it's not gonna be this background. So let me show you the best deal I got all year okay you guys here it is <laughs> so this chair 
was originally I think like $230. I have to look it up to double check but they had it on clearance like winter clearance for $68. I figured it'd be better to just sit in it to tell you the story. I've been seeing this chair at my Target like since the fall because I think it was from the fall line of Studio McGee and I've loved it. I think I've sat in it like no joke at least 15 times like on my travels into the store and I think even Brian had sat in it but it didn't have a price tag on it and it didn't have like a barcode anywhere on it so I wasn't sure like how much it was and then I started seeing it on those Instagram pages that I told you about going down in price and down in price and down in price. So yesterday when I went to my Target they had put a new like little label on it like a brand new price tag um but i couldn't carry the chair all the way over so i did rip the price tag off i was gonna put it back on the cushion okay don't come for me but i did rip it off so that i could bring it over to the price scanner so i scanned it and it was 68 dollars and i was like oh I, I think i'm gonna get it i was like messaging brian and then i looked over i went back to it and i noticed that it was broken so like the back part right here was completely snapped so I decided to go over to an employee and I was like, hey, like it's already on clearance. It's not on clearance because it's damaged it's on clearance because it's like from the fall. Do you guys give a discount on something that's broken? So we went over and got his boss and I, this is my home target that I'm talking about. I went to a couple different targets yesterday. A lot of them see me in there with my camera like several times a week. And she came over and she was like, yeah, if you want it, like I want to get rid of it. Do you want it for $40? So I got this chair for $40. All we did was I went out and got some Gorilla Glue, some wood Gorilla Glue, and we clamped it together overnight, and it's as good as new. And I absolutely love it. It's the perfect color. It, it perfectly matches our chairs and all the rest of our decor. There's no stains on it. It is in perfect condition. So yeah, this is my $40 awesome Studio McGee chair from Target. It never hurts to ask kids if you have questions or if you think something should be cheaper in price because it's broken it never hurts to ask but alrighty you guys that is gonna be it for me today I hope that you loved seeing this nice collective haul of everything I have bought at Target over the last like week ish <gasps> No wait, I actually got two more things. So I did get a sheet set, an 800 thread count sheet set from Threshold. I'll put a picture of it here. I think it was like $100, it's like 800 thread count. Leave me a comment down below if the thread count matters to you. It's never mattered to me, but Brian seems to think that it makes a big difference. So if you think that it matters, definitely let me know down below. But yeah, I bought light gray ones from Target. And then I also bought a four pack of the new Hearth and Hand like Rattan coasters. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. I couldn't get my hands on them in the store, so I bought them online, and they were $11.99, and I'll put a picture of them here as well. But that is officially everything I have bought at Target over the last week. Seems like a lot of stuff, but honestly, I got all this stuff at such a good deal, so I didn't really even spend that much money. I think if you added it all up, it's probably like, well, now with the sheets, maybe like $350. So I think I got a really good deal on all of this stuff. Let me know down below what was your favorite thing that I showed in this video, but if you love this video, definitely make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below, and I will see you Tuesday with Target Tuesday. Bye, guys!